Today, we are going to talk about the HRV this time. Before we start it, we want to ask you, how much do you think that you have the stress while you're living? Probably everyone has each different stress condition. However, it is not easy to know how much your condition is serious. In order to maintain the health, you should have the strong power to fight against the stress when you have the acute stress. And you need to release it as quickly as you can, or you can take a sleep or meditations. Our SA3000 can help you to know how much you have been under the stress and what is your mental condition currently. If you hold the stress for a long time in your body, you may have more serious conditions such as the cardiovascular disorder or adult disease. It is the main factor to make the number one killer caused by the cardiovascular disease. We have main two measuring methods, which one is the HRV and another is the APC. HRV means that heart rate variability, which measures the chronic stress and autonomic nervous system function. Meanwhile, APC means that accelerated plus smoother which measures the arterial blood circulation and symptoms of arterial sclerosis. There are different methods to measure, but you can monitor the general health status at one time. For our body balance, the autonomic nervous system plays an important role to maintain our homeostasis. If this homeostasis were broken, it means that your immune system is not working well. So you can get over that stress and virus when you behold them in your body. In this ANS functions, there are two branches, such as sympathetic nerve and parasympathetic nerve. They are balancing in the middle position like a seesaw. The SNS system is like an accelerator and the PNS system is like a brake in driving car. For the safety driving, you should push them in turn properly. Therefore, this SNS plays the role to respond to any stimulus or stress. And if it is too much over the ceiling, then PNS plays a role to reduce the high temper to be stable emotionally. There are many diseases related to the autonomic nervous system dysfunction as you can see below. Regarding the clinical studies of HRV, you can research the papers in the PubMed. In this website, there are more than 20,000 papers and you can download them anytime. If you have chronic fatigue, migraine, other disease and stress, we highly recommend you to measure this stress test and after the treatment on this disease, you can monitor the follow-up check. We have clinical research for more than 16 years in Korea and Western countries. And we have now more than 10,000 cases for the accuracy of measurement and its reliability. Our algorithms are based on these clinical studies and background, so it will be more confident compared with the other device. As you can see on the chart, they are generally different from the ancient and western reference. So you should check with the reliable machine that had clinical studies. In our device, you can select the reference for your type of body shape. We have a lot of international certificates including patents in Korea and Japan. And also we have the CE, FDA, and CFDA certificate. For your reference, they will be available for the billing code in the United States. For the HRB, it measures the RR interval from one peak to another peak. If a person were in exciting mode, their heartbeat will be faster than normal beat. What if the person were in depressed mode? His heartbeat will be slower than normal. Like this, 
we can figure out the emotional state by analyzing the intervals between two beat intervals. If the heartbeats go faster, the interval will be close to one another, while if the work is slower, the interval will be distant in each bit. Therefore, we monitor these flows of heartbeats. In 1996, the task force team made the formal standard of HRV analysis, including parameters. Before this guideline, there were many disputes in doctors and professors, but based on this standard, the HRV was made as a standard parameters for the researches and it is used for formal HRV measurement. This is very important to understand how to analyze the HRV to know about the autonomic nervous system. In our cardiac rhythm, it has always irregular beats. If there were not any influences from the external or internal stimulus. However, when we have this internal disturbance, it makes the autonomic nervous system to give the assay node to change the heartbeat to be regular. By this information, the assay node will make the cardiac fluctuation in our heart. Therefore, you can have the regular heartbeat, which your autonomic nervous system responds to the changing environment. In the heart's people, most of their HRV have the regular rhythm and more complicated habits. With the HRV signals, you can have the time domain by time floor and the frequency domain by the power spectrum density as you can see in the chart. For example, these waves look like the winery yard. The front wave is a long wave which is a long distance from one root to another root and the last one is the short wave between two loops which is close. On the left side, when you look at the winery yard, you may see all mixed waves but only can see the time from start to the end. While on the right side, you can see the each line of the waves which were divided by the lane. Therefore, you can see them in detail on both sides. Based on this information, there are all parameters divided by the time domain and frequency domain. The most important parameters in HRV is the SDNN. It means that this standard deviation normal to normal. And this parameter indicates how your autonomic nervous system is quickly responding to the changing environment. If the SCN is more wide and complicated, it means that your autonomic nervous system has a good resistance on the stress. For the standard of SDNN, if your value is over 30, you are in normal condition, while if you are under 10, you may have the possibility of cardiovascular disease. On the top, it is a sample patterns for the health pattern, while on the bottom, it is not health status. In the middle yellow line, it is the mean heart rate, and two red lines are the SCNS range and its power. For example, if the break run is wider, you can play and run more actively. Meanwhile, if the break run is smaller, you will have the limit to play and run around the ground. Therefore, the bigger size of the play ground will be better than the smaller to do exercise. On the left chart, the x-axis is RR interval and the y-axis is a number. If the histogram graph is wider and flat eye, it indicates the healthy while it is narrow and sharp. It means the person is not healthy. The healthy people 
have the RRV, which is wider and more spreading out than on her people, as you can see on the left RRV chart. In case of RMSST, it indicates how your heart functions is stable and it can be used as an assessment for spathering activity. If you have under 10 for SDNN and RMSSD, it may increase the risk of your heart disease. In this case, it should be examined for more details. PSI means the physical stress index that it indicates how much you have the pressure on the regulation system. When you go on the green zone, it means you are healthier. APEN means what is your measurement complexity, which is the high score is the better. A certain parameter indicates the stability of your measurement. Just it takes the first 15 bits and the last 15 bits to be compared. If the comparison is the same in both parts, you took the stable measurement, if not, you may need to take a measurement again. In frequency domains, there are three parameters, such as VLF, LF, and HF. In case of VLF, in order to be more stable, it requires at least 5 minutes because it will take around 25 seconds to detect one wave. Therefore, mostly, LF and HF parameters are the most important. LF indicates the sympathetic nervous system, while HF indicates parasympathetic nervous system, which means they are related to the balance. If each parameter has reduced like the chart, it means your autonomic nervous system and the regulation system does not activate well. For example, if TP is lower than normal range, you may have decreased ANS and lower regulation of competence. Ratio of LF norm and HF norm means it indicates which is sympathetic and parasympathetic by subtracting the VLF from these two frequencies. LF and HF ratio is the general balance like a seesaw or accelerator and the brake in a car. In autonomy balance diagram, on the X axis is LF while Y axis is HF. Therefore, if the point located in the middle, it means the autonomic nerve is balanced. If the point on the bottom, it may be broken in the balance. On the graph, the SNS and PNS should be equal or similar like 6 to 4, 5 to 5, or 4 to 6. However, if the sympathetic nervous system was much higher than parasympathetic nervous system, it may indicate your condition seems to be anxiety or emotionally excessive stress. While the parasympathetic nervous system is much higher than sympathetic nervous system, it means that you have more depression or grooming status. For the emotional state, it should be located in the green zone to maintain the health. If it goes to the low or high, it means you have depression or anxiety. Here are our report. You can see we have three papers which ask for the doctor or for the patient. Based on ANS report, we have more easy and simple interpretation report like the DDR. These two papers are related with the HRV.